that from here, and then a little bit more to start the left line. And the same thing, I'm going to start that again, slip up also. And currently, we fix this, we slip up, so I'm going to get a little bit small. What I'm telling these people, I am telling them about the indigenous industry of making a traditional beer, which they know. And how, in order to make that beer, you needed some inputs, some inputs, some uh, particular type of grass, particular type of banana bark, and so on. And I was using that to explain to them the issue of integration, integration with the local economy, what they call forward and backward linkages. So therefore, I want to thank the Spanish group, Imasia. Is it Inasia, Imasia? Uh, I want to thank the Spanish, whatever they are called, for helping us, in this case, in implementing part of, of this effort. Because Uganda needs a railway system. The railway system needs a number of things. It needs slippers, needs rails, the rails. Now, if they are all not made here, what does it mean? It means you must buy them from outside. And if, if you buy them from outside, transport alone, Transport alone, even before you talk about the value of the, of the sleeper, because they are heavy, they are heavy. So getting them from abroad and bringing them all the way from the coast to here, I don't know how much cost it would add in terms of value. Therefore now, our Spanish friends, have heard, and you have heard, what they are using here is local cement, as long as, as it is of good quality, local sand, and so on, lo local mitayimbwa. That's what we, is happening here. Now, this leaves us with the rails themselves for the, for the standard gauge railway. We may not do it immediately because the rails need very good steel, very good steel. But that one also we shall work on because we are, we are developing our steel industry in Kabare, we, we shall be able to produce the right type of steel that is needed by the railway system, not only here in Uganda, but in this part of Africa. From here up to uh, West Africa, 
this is a lot of work, a lot of potential here. So therefore, I want to congratulate this, uh, this man, Mr. Garcia. I think he's a clever man. You should, you should regard him. And really, we, we have no problem. We, 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 we Europeans, uh, our neighbors, they are nearer to us than the Chinese. Chinese are, are, are quite far. I am also a Christian. You must have heard that rumor that I am a Christian and that these people are also supposed to be Christians, although many of them have left Christianity. So there are cultural links between, between Europe and Africa. But they have not been using the, this opportunity. So I really want to thank this, this particular group, maybe pushed by Carmen. The cement they are using is local. If the steel is local, will a Spanish man come with electricity from Spain up to here? He will use my electricity. He will use my water. The, the, the labor. So if he earns $100, I will take 90, he keeps 10. So, So, Katumba should not put pressure on you to sell your factory. If you want to stay here, stay and even bring more people to, to invest. Because when you are in the Murunzi, Boba yoka la kamente, tojire kamutare. Ojire, ojikora chyo, ojire ta waka. Kati, ente, eza waka, ate no jugoba, nenda. Deka wa, wa sajja wa sigari, tu wa jemwa, You can see, the world, the world is in chaos now. Wars, what, what, what? But we are here. We are quiet. Now the other time, the World Bank said we are not going to give you loans. I said loans. This is it. I don't need loans so much because I have got everything here. What I need are investors like this one. This one is not lending me money. This one is bringing his own money. It's not a loan. Why do I, why do we need, why do I need a loan when I have got loan-free money? This is investment money. He comes, he has heard that you can make profit in Uganda, and Uganda is peaceful, because that's part of the, of, of the Chibaro also. The country being peaceful. Ati walio akatari, walio akatari, walio abeta goko segario muka. Another construction company has its headquarter in Madrid, Spain, but has operation in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and South America. Your Excellency, it is our practice everywhere we do business to commit resources for a skill transfer as it makes good business sense to work with and through the local communities where we are connected. As you have seen during your tour of the plant, sir, this concrete slippers plant has 90% of local staff component. The young Ugandan men and women have learned how to operate this plant and I am in no doubt that one day we shall be 100% Ugandan operated. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Imathia was also contracted to rehabilitate the Kampala Mukono line, and we are progressing very well and on schedule. You will be pleased to know that we are using the concrete slippers on this line. Allow me to raise one challenge where we seek the support of government and especially local government. 
We need support in margin encroachment along the line from Kampala to Mukono, but we are currently working on it. It is imperative the public is sensitized and mobilized to support the rehabilitation of this line that will contribute economic development through a transport and industrial policy based on new technologies and creation of new jobs. It wouldn't have been possible for a mafia construction and those other investors to reach to you to construct this factory in Uganda if this country was not a very good destination for foreign direct investment. Your Excellency, the idea of the concrete sleeper was conceptualized following the feasibility study undertaken between 2017 and 2018. The study was one of the many studies undertaken in preparation to rehabilitate and revamp the level infrastructure in Uganda, all of your directive, Your Excellency, which are deteriorated due to the many years of neglect and also the bad decision we made to uh, concession it to RBR. The study results were clear on the need to explore concrete sleepers on the rail line to replace the steel sleepers that are more prone to vandalism, rust, and the expense to replace in case need arises. On the other hand, concrete sleepers make the rail line more stable, you have just heard it from the head of the mafia, and cannot be vandalized because they do not have much attraction to the vandals. As, as, as compared to the, slips, uh, the steel sleepers. And they can also facilitate increased train speeds and load capacity. Your Excellency requests that maybe one of these days when we are in cabinet, we'll get that clip from the mafia to show what has been done between Namande and, and the jokers 